Hey, so I had to come into Manhattan today for the first time in two weeks. I, I wasn't uh, looking forward to it. I um, haven't really even left uh, Queens um, or my block because last week I was really scared, but I'm glad I did. Uh, today I had to do a follow-up appointment with a doctor and everything is fine, 100%, which I'm very grateful for. But the thing that was amazing is to see these other essential workers, these medical staffs that are just here saving people, helping people, even if they're not COVID responsibility, they are doing their job and keeping New York strong and that gives me hope because um, you know lately we need it and I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be part of these people. Um, so I'm gonna put my mask back on now and um, be safe. So uh, I'm hitting right here with one of my doctors and thank you so much for uh, being out here and helping the essential workers be on the front lines and you're taking care of people that need your help but aren't necessarily affected with COVID. How are you handling this? Well, I appreciate your asking me. Um, I think we're, this is what we do. This is our job. We're doctors and nurses and whatever, and we healthcare professionals, we take care of people who are sick. So whatever they need, we do for them. We did it in the HIV world, and we've done, we're doing it here. Um, I would say that it, as doctors, the real heroes are the nurses and nurses assistants who spend most of their time with the patients themselves. And they take the most risk and they should be cited accordingly and given the appropriate amount of uh, applause and gratitude. So for us, it's what we do. It's no different than a fireman going into a burning building or a policeman dealing with a problem. It's, it's our job and it's a privilege to do it. Well, thank you very much, and uh, I'm glad that you're out there fighting for us all. Thank you very much. Hi, so I wanted to just thank you so much for being an essential worker out here in the fields and working in the medical offices. You're oh, well, welcome. You're welcome. Well, thank you very much. How do you, do you feel about uh, helping the people that are, are, are sick but not necessarily affected with COVID but still need your medical attention? I'm always here to help out whenever they need, but we just try to, you know, try not to, I'm trying not to, you know, feel like I'm scared, so that way, you know, if they look they, they look at me and see that, oh, I'm scared, then it's, they're going to get scared as well, so I have to, you know, do my best pretend to show, you know, it's not getting to me, or it's going to affect them as well. Well, that's, that's pretty brave, mm -hmm. so do you go home and and uh, just collapse at night? Yeah, because I'm not a morning person and I'm always here at 8 o'clock in the morning, so always up and early. Yep. Taking care of the sick no matter what. Yes, that's our priority. Great, well thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, th thank you so much uh, for being an essential worker during this time. So your, 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 your patience and guidance is appreciated. Thank you so much. But remember, we got to thank everyone, cashier, delivery guys, everyone in the front line, because yeah. everyone is important. I liked what you said about New York strong. Oh, we are. We're very strong. Nothing will keep us down. Well, thank you very much, and I'll see you in two months. You got it. You take care and stay safe. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. So, wait, you're, you're stuck here at the garden, the gates of the, the hospital? Yep. And only another 11 minutes. Uh, another 11 minutes. Well, thank you so much. No problem. You appreciate it.